we've all seen the commercials about hunger and so I'm looking for a new way to communicate those same ideas and hopefully leave people with a new sense of urgency for undernourishment in developing nations. I think successful art is art that generates conversation and I want to generate a conversation of my own. My family has always encouraged the arts. I think I really knew for certain what I wanted to do in about third or fourth grade. It's really a, sort of a holistic experience to live in a city so big and to become part of a different community and a different culture. You think you understand what the world is like and what it's like to live, and then when you see how other people do it, it informs the way that you participate in the world. I'm back to classes now and I have an art theory course which I anticipate to be pretty exciting and pretty challenging. I'm taking drawing three which focuses on the figure and I don't particularly love to draw, I don't love to spend a lot of time drawing, but being able to, to work with those skills that I wouldn't choose to do um, if they weren't assigned to me and then really getting to use that medium and think about ways that I can apply that medium to my designs. I think that that's rewarding to just put that in, in your toolbox. I also get to explore a little bit in self-portraiture with that class and think about my own identity and uh, a sense of self. You know, I just strive always to try and apply the things I do in art and make them relevant to my life. Ultimately, the project is about communicating ideas to other people. My main focus is not so much on the facts and figures, it's using those facts and figures to communicate a bigger message. I had worked with Kelby for roughly two semesters prior and knew that he was very technically savvy, pretty smart, and fairly energetic, and so those were all good qualities to allow me to say, yes, I will be your mentor. He came to me and said, you know, I think I can do some information graphics with ceramic forms. I asked him a little bit more about it and just thought it was a great idea, and I suggested that he get involved with the undergraduate research program. First is the initial research, you know, finding the facts and the figures and developing visual solutions to communicate them. So the display floor with icons will show the amount of metric tons it will take to relieve a nation of undernourishment with an additional bowl that represents the U.S. and the 30 million metric tons of waste produced by the U.S. last year and I'm hoping that viewers will be able to visualize how all this wasted food could be providing for other nations. Oh, um, it's a laminated vinyl on a like a mason board essentially. Okay. Kelby um, struggled a little bit to pull together the graphics area so I, I pushed him quite a bit in the research and that was a very important part of it, is to learn as much as he could about the problem with world hunger and approach it in a new way. A lot of times she'll find things that I haven't considered or she'll reinforce ideas that I'm already thinking about. And so that then gives me more confidence to move forward with those ideas. All right, well, right. I will talk to you soon, yeah. yeah. So a bowl being a familiar vessel is something that everyone can relate to. When you hold the bowl in your hand, it, it'll feel and look normal, but the volume where you can actually place food varies. So the rim on one bowl may be you know, this big, and the rim on another bowl may be much smaller, and that's representative of various abilities to cope with undernourishment. 
He knew that mold making was going to be the key method to developing similar sort of diameter and general hemispheric form. And then he also knew that through a little bit more of a technically challenging mold making approach that he could develop a way to uh, provide an offset volume. So he had one part of the mold as being a constant and then other mold parts being interchangeable. He did have some upfront problems, uh, forms collapsing within the mold. And he slowly worked those things out with a little bit of my help and oversight and um, ended up with some pretty dynamite forms over there. Jared is great because he's always ready to do it. He always got a solution for your problem. You know, it's, he's kind of no nonsense, no excuses, but he gives you the tools you need to, to be successful. And so I, I'm also very fortunate to work with him in that regard. I approached the Black Sheep about catering a dinner for the, the opening of the exhibit. Okay, so here's the U.S. obviously. Yeah, this is the U.S. back here. Who's the second one? Is that India or is that? That is India. Okay. Each one of them is going to be served an unknown portion of food. So there's six bowls in six countries. Well, thank you. Then creating the space was, was my next challenge and reserving the gallery space. Hi, Tom. This is Kelby. It's a closed event. Yeah, it's a... About 36. Okay, well thank you so much, I appreciate your help. It's all coming together, but kind of by the hair of my chin. So I just spoke with the university and they offered to bring stuff over and set it up and it worked out really well. After I like figured out that, okay, I am going to have this printed. This is going to actually exist in the space. Now I have to make this happen. People responded to it in different ways. Some people just really loved it and you know got there and walked right all over it and some people kind of walked on the perimeter of it and they weren't sure if they should be interacting with it. I think it's similar to the way that people approach the issue. When they arrive they'll be expecting this, this beautiful meal and um, what they might receive is a ball of rice. Some of them are going to be given an enormous amount of food that they could never possibly consume. And the best part of the experiment is to see how everyone is going to react. I'm hoping that there will be a few people who show leadership and provide solutions to the inequality. And, you know, at the end of the day, if everyone walks away with a, a full belly, then everyone has really received the message of, of sharing. And that's really what I'm hoping for from participants. As you probably realize, there's a little twist to the evening, and uh, that was part of my undergraduate research. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We're able to now make a contribution to the cause um, because of the project as well. I was really pleased that Kelby tackled a social issue with it as well, because I think a lot of people think that design is either about putting a picture frame on something, making it pretty, and it's really about thinking, it's about communication. Without the undergraduate research support, so the funding and the time, which gave him the time to work on this, he would have been really restricted in terms of how far he could go in pushing his knowledge to a different level. So the example I mentioned earlier with combining the ceramics, the exhibit, and then the performance, was a beautiful thing and I don't, don't believe that that could have been done in the classroom in a single semester, so it really facilitated um, all of that. Definitely bears weight within my resume and you know, just like all these conversations that we're having now, those are conversations that I can have about the experience I've gained um, because of this project and how that lends to what I'm able to do professionally. It, it was really, I guess, empowering and was definitely a rewarding experience. 